Hey everybody, Greg from Style to Survive, and just wanted to show you this little Gerber one-handed multi-tool I came across. Uh, I'm not sure, I've actually emailed Gerber uh, all the information that I can find on the tool itself to try to get them to tell me some more information about it. Uh, this is a USA made product here, USA Gerber, and it has a couple of patent pending numbers here on it, and I'll try to get that to focus in. Sorry for the lighting. I just decided to shoot a video, so I hadn't set up any lights or anything. But it's got a couple of patent pending numbers there, USA patent. And so uh, I've got to do a little bit of work to this thing. It's uh, It's been well used. <laughs> and uh, just from looking at it, the designs of the tool itself kind of lends itself to maybe 80s or 90s uh, possibly uh, the uh, probably the most used implement on this tool that I've found is the file uh, the file is almost war bare on one one blade and I'll actually do a, a video a little bit further uh, into it after I get some information back from Gerber or if I'm able to find some more information online um, I believe this possibly could have been military issue as part of a kit with maybe a sheath and maybe another component. I'm not sure. Like I said, that's the reason why I went straight to the source, emailed Gerber, and asked him if they could give me any more information on it. Uh, of course, I just found this uh, earlier last week and uh, reached out to Gerber uh, this morning. So. Uh, maybe perhaps the next couple of days we'll have some more information on it. If you have any information on this that you are a hundred percent sure of, uh, there's a lot of speculation online and especially in forums, which are horrible. Um, so if you do have any dead, you know, hundred percent information on this tool, please let me know. These, this, uh, let me see if I can flip. Again, I apologize for the lighting, but these are blunt nose pliers. They are not needle nose pliers might come with most of the tools that we get today so uh, and these are very 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 thick this is a, a very heavy duty uh, pretty heavy uh, multi-tool so uh, I would say that it was uh, that's the reason why I'm saying the age of it is probably somewhere in the 90s uh, when it was made um, and like I said that's just a guess but uh, just from the the quality and the uh, heavy dutiness of it, I would say, it's not your typical uh, multi-tool that you would find today uh, that's mass manufactured. Uh, this appears to be a, a, a time when they were making stuff a little bit better. <laughs> there is no spring uh, bounce back or anything like that to the tool, um, which also kind of dates it. Uh, because most of the tools that they have, especially one-handed tools that are out there today, um, basically uh, have the spring-loaded facility, uh, and this one does not open once it's closed. The uh, the needle, the not the needle nose, the blunt nose, uh, basically uh, that this is the hinge where it opens. So once this is closed, it will not open uh, once those uh, pliers are down. In the down position so pretty cool tool um like i said i'm going to do some another video on it once and i'm also going to clean it up and get it to where all the blades and everything are opening correctly uh it doesn't really open uh that well one-handed so it needs a little bit of attention um uh, but other than that everything works great uh the blades need to be sharpened very badly on it uh but it has been well used over the years I just kind of wanted to give you guys a first glimpse of it. Uh, also shared uh, a picture of it on uh, Instagram. So if you want to go check that out and on Twitter as well. Um, links to both my Twitter and Instagram feeds are in the about section of my YouTube channel. If you want to go check those out. So appreciate you guys watching as always. Stay cool. Stay safe. We'll catch you in the next video.